Hello. So my second edition of the stories about learning to meditate um, that I put out yesterday cut off right as I was saying that I figured out that this woman who came to help heal me in my meditation was actually real. Um, so I think I was guided to ask this question because I was perfectly happy just having this fun meditation where I imagined something. And then I was sitting out in the garage smoking a cigarette, which I um, did then. And it's like a question fell on my head <laughs> and it was, maybe she, maybe you didn't imagine her. You should ask your intuition what her name was ask what her name was. And so I had been practicing. Um, sorry, I don't know why this keeps going dark. I'm not good with this yet. Um, so I said, what if you're a real nurse? What was your name? And into my head is the name Alice. Now, I will say that it's really hard and subtle at first to trust your um, It's really hard and subtle at first to trust that something is um, an intuitive hit rather than something you're making up. But um, eventually you practice and you practice on simple things and you can feel the difference. Um, but so I was like, well, I wasn't, I didn't try to think of a name. It didn't take any time at all. It just was Alice. So I just Googled Alice Red Cross nurse World War One because I definitely recognize that the dress and that nurse's uh, pointy starched cap thing that she was wearing in my meditation when I saw her was uh, World War One Red Cross and so this is what I found and it's her the pictures are her so I didn't know she existed but when I asked my intuition what her name was, and then I Googled her, she was a real person, and she was a nurse, so it makes sense she came to heal me. And my sense is that there's some connection between you and who comes to heal you. She died in 1962. Maybe in a past life I knew her. Maybe I was a nurse. She was a teacher, uh, an administrator, if I recall what I read. So she... Um, taught nurses. I'm a teacher. I don't know. There's a connection there.